Hello, this is Loopline, and in this video I'm going to cover the new Page Authority add-on that Scrapebox has come out with. If you don't have the add-on, you can go to Add-ons, Show Available Add-ons, then choose the Page Authority add-on from the list and install it. And once you've done that, you can go to Add-ons and Scrapebox Page Authority add-on and launch it. So the Page Authority add-on does several things. It's going to query SEO Moz, and this is going to be the list of URLs that we're going to query. It's going to come back with Page Authority, Domain Authority, Moz Rank, an external link count, and then of course the status here. Now down here we have to set up our SEO Moz account, and you can set up more than one. You can bind a proxy to an account or not, either way. When we click on Account Setup here, we get the option to register an API key, and then this is going to be our format up here where we use access ID and then pipe key and then secret key, or access ID, secret key, and then proxy details. And you can see I have one of each here. So this would be my access ID, my secret key, and then access ID, and you'll see the pipe keys there, secret key, and then another pipe key, and then the proxy setup just like you would in Scrapebox. So when we click to register an API, it brings up SEO Moz's website. Now, if you don't have an account, you can register for an account. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and use that. We're going to go down here to generate API key. Then this tells you uh, where you can sign up, that sort of thing. At this time, this is how you do it. You should probably read the directions because it might have changed since I made this video. Um, so probably a good idea to read through here, but basically you're going to scroll down and you're going to, originally you'll be generating a secret key, and when you generate the secret key, it'll also give you your access ID. Now, don't bother copying down this information or any of the info you see in the video because I'm going to regenerate secret keys as soon as I'm done with the video, so none of these will be valid, so you need to go get your own. Very easy though, it's free, it's simple, it's basic. I'm going to click yes here, and I'm going to regenerate a secret key just to show you what's going on. This is what you'll normally see. It'll say that your secret key is available within minutes. It actually only takes seconds normally, and it'll pop back up and say API secret key was generated successfully. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one since we just made it, and place that in here with my member ID that has that one, which is this one here. And get it up formatted and then close it down here. I'm going to go ahead and load in a list of URLs from the Scrapebox Harvester and hit start. Now what you'll see is two different things. One here is it appears that I just can misconfigure that account uh, and copied and pasted and maybe I added a space or that sort of thing. My other account's working fine. So when you see Air 401 uh, the point of that is that there's an issue. You've put in something wrong. So either your format's wrong, you're missing a pipe key, it's on the wrong line, that sort of thing. So you can see that. And then the other, you can see it delays 10 seconds between each one. And that is because if you go back here to um, the SEO Moz page, it will tell you that for API, you have a one request every 10 seconds. That's their limitation for free. Now, if you have a paid account, of course, you can uh, go ahead and pay, sign up for one of these, and plug in your API data, and then you would, you know, only have the limitations of whatever's there. But this is a free account, so it's delaying 10 seconds. So you can put in multiple accounts, have proxies with them or not, and then it will give you the status as it goes through here. And we can see nice page authority, domain authority, Moz rank, external link counts, and then the status as it's going through. Down here, we can go ahead and stop it if we want. When it's done, we get the option to export as a CSV file, which is pretty handy, get all that information. Um, and then also here is a link to SEO Moz if you need that as well. And so that is how the page authority scanner for Scrapebox works.